today I'm going to be showing you how to use the app ThingLink. And we are going to use the app ThingLink to make an interactive image about the human body. So we're going to pick one of the human body systems to concentrate on. So if you'll notice in my screencast, I'm using Reflector app to reflect what's actually on my iPad. So we'll click this plus button at the top and we'll choose from the photo library to add a picture that we've saved or taken a picture of the, hum the skeletal system. So today we're going to focus on the skeletal system. Now the cool thing about ThingLink is you add different targets or things to your picture. So you're linking things to your picture. So I call them targets. You can call them bullets, you can call them things, whatever you choose. So you click on it and you're going to choose add media or add text. I've chosen add media. So we're going to take a quick video. And this is actually going to let me record a video of myself telling about what we want to do. The skeletal system is an important body system that provides protection, support, and structure to your body. So I just use the record options at the bottom there, and then it adds a video. So I'm going to just click the edit button here and add a quick caption about what we, wrote, we are talking about. I really like ThingLink because it lets you add different things to your image and it lets you take an image and explain it. So right here we could add text and say there are 27 bones in the hand and wrist. So I can add facts especially if I could spell correctly. So sorry. Y'all know how it goes when you type fast. So we have 27 bones in the hand and wrist. If I want to go back and edit this material, I'll just retap my target or point and I tap the pencil and edit. Click the check mark when I'm finished. I can add different types of points to my picture or my thing link. The skull protects the brain and you can make this as detailed or as undetailed as you choose so I am doing human body systems and the skeletal system with my third grade classes and my fifth grade classes and with third grade we are comparing the function of the, the skeletal system with the muscular system so what I have my students use and do is a little bit less than what I would have them do in my fifth grade class so right here I can do, do choose from gallery and there we have our insert of our picture and the nice thing is once you get it in there then you can add a caption. I always tell my students they have to add a caption of what picture or video they're adding so that we know why they added it. So this is a close up of the rib. So. This is a quick version of how to use ThingLink. Um, as you can see, it is pretty simple. I'm going to pause for a minute and add some more targets so we can look at them and see what they look like. So welcome back. Here is a look at my finished ThingLink. I have at least 10 targets or things or points that I've added to my ThingLink. So just let's take a look at how I finish it up. So I've added my ThingLink. So I'm going to click Next. And then it's going to ask me to give it a title. And I'm going to choose the skeletal system. Dun dun dun, we're finished. So let's check out our thing link. So we have our beautiful thing link here. And what this lets us do now that we're in it is it lets us um, check out the actual interactive image. So we can see text boxes add information. We can see that our pictures add the picture with our captions. And then we also have one where I added a YouTube video and you can play that video from here. 